quarter asked, Captain Midnight bravely faces the nation's deadliest criminals. In an attempt to rescue the kidnapped Joyce, Midnight is an easy target for Ivan Shark's aviators, who bomb him from the air. That's it. bombing the road. Get off of it. I'll play some warning ahead. Go ahead. Struggle your head off, sister. Get loose if you can. Nothing can save Captain Midnight. We'll get him this time. I hope so. Steady. Steady. Yeah. You got him that time. Yeah, but you better circle around once to make sure. Well, that finishes your Captain Midnight. Watch out or you'll be next. young lady. I thought you were killed. So does her father, I hope. Joyce, get at the wheel. We're taking this girl in. I refuse to go. Well, what do you see? What a fine kettle of fish this is. Captain Midnight's not only escaped, but now he's captured the chief's daughter. Get in the car. Now he's putting on a car. What do we do? Well, I'll keep the car in sight. You ready the boss. He'll tell us what to do. And how I hate to do it. Number eight calling S1 at 17. Number eight calling S1 at 17. S1 answering. Come in, number eight. Bad news, Chief. Captain Midnight escaped a bombing raid, recovered the girl, and is taking Fury with him. Shall we bomb the car? Certainly not, you idiot. Follow car to destination and report to me here. I'll wait. Right, sir. We're on our way. Taking me. Doesn't matter to you. I'm going to use you as bait to trap that mastermind you're all working for and make him call off the bombing raids. Why you haven't a chance? Human life means nothing compared with his great objective. He'll not call off the raids because of me. Depend on that, Captain Midnight. The plane is still overhead. Do you suppose they'll bomb us again? I hope they do. They won't. They want to see where we take our prisoner. We won't keep them in suspense. Go to police headquarters. Right. S1 answering. Come in. Prisoner taken to police headquarters. Car waiting outside. What will we do? Return to home field. Await my arrival. I'm leaving now. S1 signing off. Well, that's that. Head for home before some army plane gets on our tail and blows us out of the sky. Home it is. Well, this is encouraging. Thanks to you, Captain Albright. Yes, but we're only postponing trouble to another time. Unless we can locate and trap this gang and his leader. With his daughter in our hands, we'll never have a better chance. We should learn a lot. Well, perhaps you're right, but she'll be tough. Oh, well, pardon me, Major. May I use your phone? I assume it couldn't be tapped. Certainly not. Are you sure the other end isn't? Certain. It's my private line, buried underground. Hey, Doc. How long do you think it'll be before the old man gets his brains unscrambled? It's very indefinite. Perhaps tomorrow, perhaps next month, perhaps not at all. Hey, he's an encouraging cuss, ain't he? Hey, there's the phone. Ain't you gonna get it? No, oh, yeah, I'll get it, Inky. Hey, Doc, you get it? Newfangled telephone. When the phone rings, it don't. A light light. Hello? Oh, it's 
it's you, Captain. Icky and me been on pins and needles. What's cooking? No time to explain now. How's the patient? Oh, he's chipper as a chipmunk, eating like two horses. But he don't remember a thing. Well, keep the doctor there. Edward's memory may return at any moment. We need a witness. Now, one of you stay on guard there day and night. In case of trouble, phone Major Steele's office. I got you, Captain. We'll be Johnny on the spot. Is my father all right? Progressing nicely. Now, no need to worry. See here, all right. I understood Edwards was taken to your Nevada hideaway. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Major. I forgot to tell you. You see, that was said for the benefit of the shark and his gang. He's been at his home under a specialist care all the time. <laughs> when will I be able to go to him? Well, you must be patient too, Joyce. You see, apparently your home is deserted. Now, we must do nothing to let them suspect he's there. You'll have to wait. My only weakness is the helpless fools who serve me. Hereafter, I'll take matters into my own hands and lead you all myself. Hello? Yes, I know my daughter wasn't left at the police station, Borgman. It was another trick of midnight's. Well, go on. Well, use any method you wish. I'll get at it to take the consequences. Borgman is finally using his brains. He has Gardo acting as a window washer on the building where Steele's office is located. You don't think we'd learn anything by questioning Shark's daughter again? No, I'm sure we wouldn't. I tried everything. Her only value is as a lead to this Ivan Shark, her father. What I don't understand is why they've made no effort to rescue Shark's daughter. You gave it to me, Major. They're liable to attempt it any moment. Only we're gonna beat him to the punch. I'll go to the hospital and get that girl away from the prison ward where she is now and fly her to my hideaway in Nevada. I'll do it today. Why, that's idiotic. You're laying yourself wide open. I'm sorry, Major. It has to be that way. But you'll take my men as guards? No, that'll attract too much attention. I'll risk it alone and I'll leave the field at three sharp. Now remember, Major, not a word to anyone. Why, certainly not. I'll... He's I... gone. Well, now perhaps you'll tell me what all this acting's about. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Major, but that window washer happens to belong to the gang. He was sent here to listen, and I gave him an earful. If I'm right, we'll get that gang, and perhaps it's cheap right where we want them. Albright's place in Nevada. Plane ready here. Notify me when his plane takes off. We'll follow. Well, the first part of the plan is working, but we'll have to wait till they take off. Get my hat, Fang. Albright's plane about to take off. Goods on board. Orders. Return here to headquarters and stick by radio. We're taking off at once. Right, sir. Now we'll rescue Fury, destroy Midnight, and recapture Edwards all in one fell swoop. Get at it.
right overhead. I'm worried. Why don't they land? Uh, I'll only worry when they do land. All right, get to the house. What did I tell you was Captain Midnight got out of that plane? Not all right. All the better. That reduces our enemies by one. I don't get it. You wouldn't, but I do. Captain Midnight is none other than Albright, dressed up for our benefit. Now we're over the spot. Bail out, all of you. These men have all bailed out. Well, what about the leader? He's circling back. He's too smart. Those men are bound to come here, so we're going to have to change our plans. Can he now work toward his wicked end uninterrupted? And what about the other men in Shark's gang? Can they be unnerved now when success seems certain? See what happens in the drop to doom. Next week's action-crammed chapter of Captain Midnight.